Hey y'all, out here at uh, Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors, and I've been uh, doing a series on um, Steve Tracy's 55 Chevy wagon. Uh, Griffey did it. It was in a flood in Nashville, you know, and they had that flood a year and a half or so ago. And uh, it was in a flood in Nashville. Griffey uh, tore it down, put it all back together, and then Steve's put the interior in it. So I thought this was a good, uh, good time to update it. So let me run Steve down and we'll take a look at it. Steve, how are you, brother? I'm doing good. It's a good day. It's it is a good, good day. day. I bet good. you Mr. Tracy thinks it's a good day, too. I hope so. I hope so. You got his car ready for him to go back? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've had it a while. Of course, he's done a lot to it. We took it apart. It brought it to us originally to put an interior, uh, just a regular factory interior back in it that he had. I told him it was ugly. His wife, he told me that his wife said it was ugly, so we put a customer in Customer interior. interior. <laughs> cool. Let's see it. Nothing stock on this one. Man. Oh wow, yeah, that's nice. What's yeah. the name of that color? You know? Yeah, it's saffron. Saffron. Yeah. Man, it looks good. Bench yeah, seat. Yeah, we got in the front. from uh, California. Wow. No, that's nice. And Steve said his wife and there, you know, they're going to drive his car and him and his wife and his kids get out in it. So we built him a console with the cup holders in it. Right. So that you know, anybody that cruises around got to have somewhere to put their drinks. Oh yeah, yeah, no doubt so, about you know, it. And we've done the same thing back here in the back for the kids. See back here? Got oh, drink yeah, holders. Okay. And, and look at the, that. Yeah, yeah, for iPods and telephones and all that stuff. Man. So they've got they've got the hookup back here and the same back here in the back. Does that seat fold down? It does. It's a it's a factory seat, but we modified it. You can obviously say it's not your factory 55 sheet seat. But I like how you left the chrome and all mm -hmm. in it. Yeah, how you left that stock kind of. Then it's uh, got a stereo and everything in it. Where's the stereo at? That's a good question. Yeah. Uh, there it is up there. I was thinking, I don't even remember seeing them. <laughs> but yeah, they got it up here. In the, and then all the buttons all, for the air ride. It's got now. air ride in it and all that stuff in it. Man, that's nice, man. I was fixing to say, I hope we didn't forget the stereo. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a nice stereo uh, in it, I yeah. think. Yeah, it's supposed to. Stereo, huh? It's got the speakers and stuff. Oh, I like it. I like the two speakers and the door panel. That's very cool. I like this. Got your highs gate. Yeah, no, that's cool. See, we've modified this back here to where he's got an outlet right here. If the kids are sitting out here and the car show or something sitting on it, the, they can just plug in their iPods or whatever. This right here, we made a, actually made that floor come up a little bit and redesigned it a little bit. And he's got air ride and his amp and all that stuff back in the battery. Yeah, so, but it's hidden nicely. Oh, yeah, you never tell. down there, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Actually, um, Larry Griffey deepened this so that they can actually put more stuff in it. Right. Oh, and then with the good. wires and stuff, we had to raise the floor up just a little bit. And then we redone the redone the door, put a little snap in it to just keep everything nice and flat. And then Steve Tracy chromed all of the all of the trim pieces inside of it, all the seat pieces, so it looks real nice and clean and neat. Put a nice leather headliner in. Yeah, yeah. it's actually a wool headliner. Wool? Yeah. Can it's I touch it? Yeah, you can touch it. It's a 100% wool headliner. Oh, I'll be darned it is. Yeah, it come out of California, too. Everything in this interior come in California. The Mercedes wool carpet, the wool headliner, the leather, all of it come from uh, California. Man. You know, and I, you know, I was telling you, that color just it confuses me. It's like, I'm not sure I should like it, but I do. I like the whole car. I like how he blacked out the rear tail lights. Yeah, that's a I good, clean it. cruiser. Yeah, it is, there. man. And you know, the uh, the 12 volt plug in to become like cup holders. Yeah. You want as many of them as you can get, you know? Nowadays, with everything being electronic, right. you can't go wrong having 12 volt accessories. You know, and that's my comment too is that anybody with a cell phone that thinks powering your car by battery is a good idea, <laughs> huh? It goes dead, right? When yep. you need it the most, exactly. it goes dead. Yep, yep. Cars will do the same thing. Exactly. No, I love that. Can I open the door on this side? Yeah. We actually made aluminum trim. I sort of went with a straight look on this car because if you stand back and look at it, all the lines are straight and the, right. the trim is straight on the outside. 
So we try to keep everything with the same theme and then uh, send it to Steve, Steve Trace and he polished, uh, chromed everything and then sent it back to us and we put it all so in. Does roll up windows or are they automatic? They're electric. Yeah, you I just like that, right? Touch a button right. and roll them up and down. And I like how the chrome uh, vent is over on mm -hmm. the side too. Still That's gives cool. it that retro look. Yeah, no. And the clock and the dash. Mm -hmm. He left everything in there and just brought it up to date. That's and cool. Of course, man. we put you know lights in it here and there. It's got, you know, when you open your door, your lights okay. come on. Then you you've got to switch over there with your headlight. It'll also come on with it. When you're cruising down the road at night or something, need to look at a map or whatever. But who needs who uses a map anymore? Right? That's right. GPS. GPS. <laughs> wow. Let's look under the hood. I was going to shoot it again, but I think Griffey's got it done. Other than just a few buff and a little bit here and there, yeah. I think it is finished and ready to go. I wonder what motor that is. I think I said in the first. Definitely one. a small block Chevrolet. Right. You know, all chrome plating. That's one of the benefits plated. having a, your own chrome shop. Yeah. Well, and he rechromes stuff that comes chrome. Oh so yeah. It's not good <laughs> enough. Yeah. No, I like that. Headers look good on it. Mm -hmm. It's all cleaned up under here. Man, nice car. You would never guess the car's been in a flood. No. You know, and the thing about it is, is that. This car's not hurt because of being in a flood now. It's now, been completely, completely taken redone. Apart and yeah. Put back together, motor, transmission, obviously all the interior. You know. Yeah, that interior. There's no old fibers or anything Nothing. that's damp. You know, it's Nothing. gonna make mold now. It's, no, they everything's did a good brand job. new. Man, I like the uh, brake too. This painted body color. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, y'all did a good job, man. Very nice job, Steve. Yeah, Alloway, and I like every it. time Alloway looks at it, he's like. I love that car. I love that car. I want to buy that car. I like to have that car. You just never know what he's going to like. I know it. You never know. He surprised me with another car we had he said he'd like to have. I'd be like, hmm. What I car is that? I never thought that. That um, Airflow. That Chrysler Airflow. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, he said he loved it. I was like, really? That's pretty neat. But I guess it's so unique that it, he likes all that unique, different stuff. Right, right. Yeah, he's got an appreciation for the unique, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Now, it turned out nice. I think you and Griffey, I don't think there's a better team that could have brought this one back from. It wasn't dead, but it was in a lot of water. You know, it was in that Nashville flood. I did a whole series on this video, folks. So if, you, if you're a little bit behind, just check out the other ones. But Holcomb, as always, brother, you rocked it. I appreciate it, Scotty. No problem. Thanks. Folks, there you go. Steve Tracy's 55 Chevy wagon. This is uh, this is uh, Griffey and Steve Holcomb. Griffey did all the body work and, and, and the mechanical end of it. I'm sure some other people over there work too, but Steve then put the interior in it. So, Well, this one's back to Steve Tracy, uh, big chroming guy in, in the hot rod world. I hope he appreciates it. I'm sure he will. So, Anyways, hope you all have enjoyed it. See you.